Hey, what's up everybody? Gons here for the Face Like the Sun channel with another quick update. This time, news about Sophia the Robot or her newly available children. Futurism.com. You can now buy Sophia the Robot's little sister. The tiny bot's purpose goes beyond dancing and telling jokes. Uh, this is a little Sophia robot, and it says here that now Sophia appears to be multiplying or at least diversifying the brand. And November 2018, Hanson Robotics family grew up one member when Sophia introduced the world to her little sister during an appearance on The Tonight Show. And on Tuesday, Hanson launched a Kickstarter campaign for the new robot, giving others the opportunity to have a little Sophia join their families for a purpose that says, beyond companionship. Well, what are, what are they talking about here? Well, it goes on to tell us that... Uh, this is, according to the Kickstarter campaign, each little Sophia comes with a companion app that allows target users, a child between the ages of 7 and 13, to program the bot using the Blockly and Python languages. So there you go. It's directly teaching kids how to code uh, target age 7 and 13, so very young. Quote, we believe that little Sophia can help to introduce STEM S-T-E-M, coding, and AI to children, especially girls, in a fun, safe, inspiring, and interactive way, reads the Kickstarter campaign. And it's affordable, you know, 100 bucks, 150 bucks, something like that. I mean, you could look at it both ways. On one hand, do you get informed children to, you know, learn this stuff just so there are people out there who can, I guess, maintain the ethical boundaries of controlling these mechanisms or at least have an understanding of it so as to be able to you know address it somehow oh this sounds so dystopian but i mean that's that's what we're talking about here or what's happening here again and i've discussed this over and over on this channel which is that as we interact more with the virtual realm we are basically infusing our you know essence into this medium that is not flesh and by doing so we are conjuring something that I believe biblically speaks of, which is the beast. And so, you know, this is the major theme here going on with robotics and how it relates to end times prophecy in the days of Noah. But in this particular case, I mean, what's the point? I think it's important for children maybe to learn to code because the future is, you know, this crazy cyber warfare type situation going on, which is, you know, uh, just a bridge closer to uh, a more palpable psychological warfare because that's what's happening. We're, we're basically being able to transparently see through the internet the psychological warfare that's taking place by projecting it onto these images and blog posts and media and everything else. So this is already happening. And the fight tangibly as we move into the future here, you know, lest the Lord return and just ends this mess once and for all, we need to be informed about the mechanisms of how these things operate. So a couple more points. First off is that the AI, you know, the corporate system is certainly a uh, part of this because Hanson Robotics, the government, this is all part of it. But notice how they're doing it through Kickstarter, which is interesting because they're trying to appeal to the masses, the public to fund this thing. And this goes back to, you know, <laughs> the people being deceived into building the image of the beast. So uh, I think it relates, maybe not specifically to this example of Sophia's little mini robot siblings, but in the grander sense of the prophecy. And then lastly, is that the robot rise, interestingly enough, will come in the form of this inherent slavery that is part of this mechanism of AI and, and even these blockchains that are taking advantage of the AI or vice versa. These systems are just basically slaves to human conduct at exponentially greater rates of processing data. So we see the writing on the wall. The robots are going to basically take over a lot of human conduct at this grand scale. And it's going to cause a lot of transparency with human relationships in society. But it's also going to be important for us to be able to learn the tactics here, the wiles of the devil, the schemes, and be able to battle the deception at perhaps a tangible level. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Aside from the creepy robot, do you think young kids should learn how to code so as to be informed about how to exist and resist in this crazy cyber reality that is emerging in front of us? Thank you guys for your time. Make sure to subscribe. Stay tuned for Age of Deceit 3, which is March 1st. 
And if you want to help support us, apart from this corrupt AdSense crazy censorship system that we're existing in, go check out the Face Like the Sun Teespring store and pick up a t-shirt. And if you're a patron, thank you. You guys rock. You guys are the best. I love you all. Have an awesome day, guys. God bless.